Hey guys, I just want to rant a little bit and uh, somehow from studying all these multiple different topics I've gotten back to the Sons of God thing and uh, I want to explore more when the Lord talks to Satan and says, uh, Whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So this is um, something I think that I didn't really focus on in the video, I didn't really cover, go over, and I need to study this more still, but um, I think I've discovered a few things, but, so people think because Satan says I've been going from, and going to and fro in the earth, that that means that he was on the earth, and then he, and now he's in heaven, and I actually cut a clip at the beginning of my Sons of God, Daughters of Men video showing you know, this false teacher basically saying that. Um, that's not what this means at all. And I think that it's interesting and it would be a great study, but since I have a long list of studies, it's... Uh, anyways, it's really interesting how we can be blinded to the truth because of things that we want to be true. And... We just have to keep ourselves sensitive to that. And I've noticed that even from some things that I've taught, um, there's things that I want to go over and study again that I think that I may have been wrong about. I don't think that it's, you know, exactly heresy or anything, but fortunately. Uh, but people can just be blind to, and it's like the truth can be in plain sight. But anyway, um, you know, I've shown, I've, I've have so many arguments against the sons of God being angels, um, but I think there's still more that I can add to this. But, and I was just thinking of a comparison for this, in a sense. Like, if I was, if I went on vacation, and, uh, you know, I went to Hawaii, and I went to China, I went to Australia, and I come back, and a friend who hasn't seen me or heard from me for a while, and they were like, where have you been? I haven't heard from you for a while. And I'd be like, oh, I've been traveling all over the earth. So if I say that I'm traveling all over the I, I was traveling all over the earth, does that mean that I'm now in heaven? Because I just said that I was traveling all over the earth? No. So, in a sense, you know, I think that can be comparable to this. Um, people are just getting tripped up on things because of what they want to believe. Um, this doesn't say, nothing in here says that Satan was on earth, and at this time when he's talking to God, he's in heaven. I've already shown arguments showing that when, when people come before the presence of the Lord, there's plenty of verses that show that people going... Um, presenting themselves before the Lord on the earth, not in heaven. Um, there's a lot of interesting things about this, though. You know, God asked Satan, Whence comest thou? And we know that the Lord knows where Satan was. It's kind of like when, um, when the Lord asks, you know, Adam and Eve, where are they at? And um, he also asks Cain, you know, where is Abel? Um, so that's kind of interesting when he's asking these things and he knows the answers because God is all knowing. Um, now I, I've read some different commentaries. I still need a lot of studying on this, like I said. Um, I still don't feel like I can give the best explanation, but people, I've seen a lot of people say that when Satan says that, you know, he was going to and fro on the earth and walking up and down, he's kind of bragging or being arrogant that he is the ruler of the earth, it is his domain, um, so that's kind of the sense that it is, and, and I'm not sure the context, like, the, the phrase the earth or the word the earth. Um, I think sometimes in the Bible, or maybe a lot of times, it can, uh, it represents, you know, like the ground or the land. It doesn't necessarily represent the planet. 
um, you know, but in a sense it does. But if it was to say, you know, from going to and fro in the land, then I think less people would have that that idea in their head that, that Satan was on earth and now he's in heaven. So, um, you know, and I'm not saying the translation is wrong or anything like that, but, uh, you know, that's what it could mean, you know, I've been going to and fro in, in all the land um, and walking up and down in it. Um, but anyways, just like I said, you know, somebody today could say, you know, I've been traveling the earth. It doesn't mean that they were on earth and now they're in heaven. Um, so, so I followed this out and, you know, I've also read, and it's sad that there's so many people that teach this falsely. That, that teach that the sons of God were angels. It's all over the place. Um, I, don't know, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, a lot of them say that, well, Satan was cast out of heaven, but um, if the Lord wills, if he can, he can, you know, he can make Satan appear in heaven, you know, at his will. Um, you know, like Satan doesn't have the will to go to to go to heaven, but God can you know call him there. You know, which I don't believe. Um, I believe that there's no you know evil in the presence of the Lord as far as where He reigns on His throne, in His you know in in the third heaven, but. If you follow us out, it says, um, oh, one more thing too, I guess, with Satan going to and fro in the earth, um, let me see here, it's kind of like Satan saying, you know, I'm going to and fro in the earth, walking about, you know, seeing who I can devour, like First Peter 5.8. You know, and then the Lord's kind of like, well, have you considered Job? <laughs> you know, uh, why don't you try going after him? You know, but anyways, let's see. So there's this conversation between the Lord and Satan. And at the end of this, uh, Job one twelve. It says, so Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So, so most people that teach that the sons of God were angels, false teachers concerning this doctrine, uh, they will say that God can call Satan at his will, but here apparently Satan can leave at his own will, because it says Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So, I, uh, wanted to look at that I've shown multiple verses where people um, presented themselves before the Lord but I think it's also notable to show people going forth from the presence of the Lord okay so Genesis 3 8 here we got Adam and Eve hid themselves from the presence of the Lord uh, Genesis 4, we got Cain went out from the presence of the Lord okay does that mean that Cain was in heaven and now He's going back to earth? No. Okay. He was on earth when he was in the presence of the Lord and when he went forth from the presence of the Lord. Okay, what about Jonah? Jonah fled from the presence of the Lord. Okay. Does that mean that Jonah was in heaven at one point and now he's on earth? No. <laughs> so... This teaching that the sons of God were angels is completely ridiculous, but I still think there is more that I could even hammer down on that. And, you know, I do think that Job 38.7 could be explained better, which I'll study that too um, more. But And I heard someone say this argument. It's the most completely ridiculous thing I've ever heard. They said, what about Job or Genesis 6.9? When it says, these are the generations of Noah, Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. 
So they try to say that Noah was perfect and sinless and that all of his descendants were sinless. <laughs> so uh so they weren't corrupted uh by fallen angels mating with them and stuff or whatever. So that's just it's crazy just the links that people will go to 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 support their false doctrines. Um Obviously, no uh, man besides the Lord Jesus Christ, who was fully God and fully man, was ever sinless. Um, only Jesus was sinless, okay? Um, what it means is he was perfect in his genera generations. You know, he was just in his generations. He was a godly man, you know, who obeyed the the commandments of God you know to his best not 100 percent perfectly um you know perfect's probably kind of a hyperbole it's uh you know exaggerating you know we say that a lot we we say that you know people are perfect or things are perfect all the time when they might be really really good but you know they're not perfect you know Jesus was perfect as far as sinless Okay, so, anyways, um, it says Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. We know Jonah fled from the presence of the Lord. Cain went out from the presence of the Lord. These were all taking place on earth. Satan is is not, um, you know, allowed in, in heaven where God resides. And, uh, the sons of God were men, not angels. So, thanks for watching, and, um, I'll study these things out more, and I'll put pages on my website, I'll make videos of them when, when I come to some more conclusions on this, but thanks for watching, God bless. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.